All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a recap of the Final Fantasy VII 25th anniversary celebration live stream that went up yesterday, uh, and it was only about 10 minutes. It was short, sweet, and to the point as it should be. It wasn't a an actual showcase. Um, you know, it, it could have been an email, a vlog, a, a blog. You know, just a regular um, upload. Matter of fact, that's probably what they should have done, um, so we could actually get the you know the full quality of uh, you know of all these games that they that they showed uh, because the stream was a little bit choppy and I'm not even sure there's like 4K versions uh, of this now because they uh, premiered it you know um, and you know everybody wants to premiere it like it's a showcase like it's a big event because it draws in more eyes you know get people anticipated for it it's E3 time so that's what everybody does cool fine. So, first thing they announced, Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to Steam. It was already on um, Epic since last year, I believe. We know it launched as a, uh, a PS4 exclusive. You know, it got updated to PS5 with the Integrate DLC. Um, and, of, and every time, like, a game I love goes to another platform, I'm tempted to buy it just off the strength. Uh, for Even though I probably... I don't know. Like it's it's just because uh, I, I obviously already have the platinum um, for four seven on PS five. Uh, I've, I've beaten the game like probably six times by now. Uh, I think it's about six times. I've beaten the Integrate DLC. Absolutely love the game. It's 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 in my top three games of last gen. It, it might be my second favorite game of last gen. Um, absolutely love it. Absolutely amazing game. I was obviously a fan of the original. The original is one of my favorite games of all time. And I love the remake probably. I love the gameplay of the remake probably more. But the original, you know, sometimes you can't beat that first time playing a game. You know, sometimes that first time experiencing, experience, experiencing it, um, you know, Nothing comes close to that. Even if you get a remake, that is technically better when it comes to gameplay. Uh, so yeah, it's going to Steam. It's not going to Xbox. I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy. Didn't mean that. I'm going to address the uh, <laughs> the the Xbox fans who are upset about it not going to Xbox um, a little bit later on in this video, right at the end, right. Uh, because listen, I thought it was gonna go to Xbox. Go to go to Xbox. I I would be fine with it going to Xbox. I really thought that they were gonna announce this here, right? But I'll get into that um, at the end of the video. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, going to Steam. Um, tempted to to buy it just off the strength because I love the game, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I didn't do it. Do I have it on Epic? I might have it on Epic. I don't know. Uh, then they announced some Final Fantasy VII merchandise. Not much to say about that. Like, uh, I think um, I saw, like, this... Doesn't that alarm clock... Like, it's the Buster Sword alarm clock, I think. Doesn't that cost, like... I don't know, like, over $100? Something ridiculous. But somebody who's a Final Fantasy, you know, fanatic, and there's plenty of them, will easily buy that. Um, they gave an update on Final Fantasy VII. The... Well, it's Final Fantasy The First Soldier, which is a mobile game. Not going to talk about that. Don't really care. Then Final Fantasy Ever Crisis, which is also a mobile game. It's like a chibi kind of card-based combat Final Fantasy game. Don't care about that. Um, but it's a good thing that they didn't spend much time on these things. Like I said, it was probably like 10 minutes. The whole thing's probably 10 minutes long. Um, then we get into Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy uh, Crisis Core, which is coming out this winter so we got a, a game to look forward to this winter all right this is the uh i guess you would say remake um for crisis core i, w I don't think it's a remaster i would say it's a remake um i never played crisis core because y'all know i'm not i'm not the guy who was into playing uh you know handheld games i didn't really like handhelds uh so there's plenty of probably great games i missed out on um, simply because they were on handhelds, but I'm sorry, I, I wasn't gonna play them. I wasn't a handheld guy. Uh, out, you know, after, of course, I played, um, you know, the the Game Boy, the Game Boys, and you know, like most of the iterations of the Game Boys and stuff like that. But <clears throat> outside of all the iterations of the Game Boys, I wasn't a hand. Like, I, I had the PSP, but I sold it very early. I was like, I don't, I don't like this. Um, I sold it pretty damn early after I got it. Yeah, that, I, I was past my handheld 
phase, and I didn't want to play any anything handheld after that point. Um, I still want them to bring Uncharted, Golden Abyss to to play uh, to consoles also, because obviously I never got to play that. I'm, it's probably not even that great, but still I want to play it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I look forward to Crisis Core. Never got to play it. Um, looks looks great. Looks like you know it's obviously been updated with the uh, the current engine, the current visuals, and all that stuff. So I look forward to playing that this winter. Um, then we learned that we have two more parts for Final Fantasy VII, right? We knew the game was going to be multiple parts. We didn't know how long it was, it was going to take. We didn't know how many parts. Now we know it's going to be three parts. Obviously, the first part was remake. The next part is going to be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is coming out next winter. That's Final F Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. And then there's not a name for the final part, and we don't know when we're going to get that. But now we at least have somewhat of a, of a timeline, right? We know when this game is going to be absolutely complete and it doesn't seem so final fantasy um <clears throat> 7 remake came out what was that 2000 and uh shoot what was that that was in 19 was it 19 oh, it's crazy how i beat this game so many times I have no I, I can't remember what year it came out so these years start to blend that wasn't 2019 was it it was 2020 wow Okay, so that was 2020. Then we're going to get the um, Rebirth, the sequel, in 2023. So only three years. They managed to do that in three years. Some people thought we were going to like be playing you know, part two in like 2025 or something like that. So not bad, not bad timing. They're definitely doing their job over there. Uh, and the final part, maybe we'll get that 2026, latest 2027. So I'm very excited. We, you know, the gameplay showed, uh, you know, Cloud and, and Sephiroth and, and Mount Nebel. And, um, you know, people who played the original are very familiar with that part of the game. We got, you know, a scene with, with Zack, of course, and everything like and that. Um, and, I'm, and, you know, I've heard nothing but great things about Crisis Core. And, of course, you know, I've done, because I never played Crisis Core, I had to, like, look up some things. Um, learn about Zack other than what the lore of the other Final Fantasy games tell you about him and everything like that. So, yeah, excited. Excited about uh, both Crisis Core and uh, the next part um, of Final Fantasy VII Remake, Rebirth. So, yeah, great stream by them. Just really quick, want to address uh, the Xbox uh, fans that are upset. So, first... I, this is what I thought PlayStation was going to do, right? I didn't think the next part was going to be exclusive to PlayStation 5. What I thought was the, their strategy and what was going to happen is they 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 got the uh, exclusivity to Final Fantasy uh, Remake Part 1, right? So that when Part 2 came out, which is Rebirth, we know, that people that bought, you know, part one on PlayStation would, you know, continue to get the future parts on PlayStation because they played the first, you know, the first part on PlayStation. That makes sense, you know? People are going to want to continue to play it on the platform that they started it out with. We don't know if there's going to be any, like, uh, transition of, of, of you know, uh, your save file or, or anything you did in the, in the first part, um into the next part but still people typically want to continue a, a game on the platform that they started it out so you can get most people to buy it on your platform if the first if the first part was exclusive to your platform and then part and I, then i thought part two was going to be uh announced um to be coming to xbox along with part part one that's what i thought their strategy was but it it's clearly a lot more aggressive i don't know what deal Square Enix has with PlayStation what exactly it is. We know they obviously have a good relationship. Um, I, ha I, I have to assume, I would assume that eventually, yes, eventually, that Final Fantasy VII Remake and all the sequels will go to Xbox. Maybe when this whole trilogy, all the games are released and, and you'll get all, all of the games in one big package. That's what I would assume, right? Um... But, but that's not the case. But what I don't understand about Xbox fans being upset, right, 
a lot of these dudes, for one, I don't believe a lot of these dudes who are upset really even care about Final Fantasy that much. They're, they're complaining it's about the principle, right? It's about the culture, right? They feel like they have to be this advocate for Xbox. Listen, ain't no way, right? This is the part that doesn't compute to me. Ain't no way I'm going to like complain about a game not coming to my preferred platform that I don't like. That part I don't get. I honestly want to do some, like, I honestly want to see some of these dudes' PSNs or their Epic Game um, accounts to see if they even played, you know, the remake. Because I don't believe a lot of them did. And a lot of them even say they don't care about Final Fantasy. So why do you care that it's not coming to Xbox? But, oh, it's the principle. We want more JRPGs to come to, to, to Xbox. Why? So you won't buy them? Just for you not to buy them? Just for it to collect virtual dust in, <laughs> in the digital world? Like, I don't get it. And the other part I don't understand is you. a lot of them say they have a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox. Why do you have a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox if not so you can play games that don't come to either console? I thought that was the point. You have a PlayStation, so games that don't go to Xbox, you can play on your PlayStation. You have an X, you have a PlayStation, so games that don't go to Xbox, you, you know, and vice versa. That's, that's The Xbox is for games that don't go to PlayStation. The PlayStation is for games that don't go to Xbox. I thought that was the point. <laughs> I, I thought that was the, the, the main point in having both consoles. But I guess they, they might make the argument like, oh, no, it's only supposed to be first party uh, games that, you know, don't go to each other's platforms. Uh, I mean, that's not been the case, though. Listen, even when like Tomb Raider, um, when Rise of the Tomb Raider didn't go to PlayStation, right? It was a timed exclusive. I didn't complain. Some people did. But that's why you have multiple platforms. You have multiple play. I, there, I had a PC, so anything that doesn't go to PlayStation, it will, will definitely most likely be on PC. That's why you have multiple platforms. That's why you bought them. You're you're mad that the that you ha now have to use the machine for the purpose that you bought it. I don't get that part. I don't that the the math ain't mathing for me with that one. I, I truly don't get it. And listen, I'm sorry, y'all gotta understand that y'all all y'all y'all fan this this happens because yeah, like y'all fan base doesn't have the best track record of buying these type of games. So certain publishers feel like, listen, we can pass on this fan base in exchange for maybe a bag that PlayStation or whoever is is getting is giving to us because y'all weren't going to buy our games anyway. And some say, oh, we, we can't buy the games if they don't come to the platform. Y'all weren't buying them anyway. Look at the history. It, it's not like this didn't suddenly happen. Listen, a lot of the most of the Final Fantasy games are on Xbox. Look at the go look at the sale the sale differentials between Xbox and the PlayStation platforms. Go look at them. So you can't be mad or upset that you know they they're looking at those and like yeah we can pass on that and they have they have numbers they have tele telemetry and all these you know metrics to look at to base these decisions on. So I just don't understand, you know, what's all the anger about why y'all are so upset. What's, and all the people who are upset, like, seem to have PlayStations and, and are not even Final Fantasy fans. Like, you're advocate, you're, you're, you're going to a restaurant and you're mad that the restaurant you go to doesn't have the food that you don't like. You're, you're literally ordering 
the food, that food that you don't like, and you're mad that the restaurant doesn't have it. That's literally what you're doing, right? And you have access to a restaurant that has that food, right? There's a restaurant right across the street that has that food, but you won't go to that restaurant even though you have access to it because you don't even actually want the food. Like this, this makes no sense on any like way, any way. No, there is no rhyme or reason to this logic. This is all for console war fodder and like, this is all for fighting the good fight of consoles. That's that's all it is. It's for list wars and to say, oh, our this get this series, this franchise, this game is on our platform. Games aren't made to just be added to some check mark. They're made to be consumed. Y'all are worried about checking off a list. Other people are worried about actually playing the game. That's why they're getting the game. Because y'all are checkmarking and other people are playing. It's simple as that. It's it's literally very simple as that. Like, I, I just, what are y'all upset about, bro? Yeah, I, I don't get what, what y'all are upset about. Like, the, even if the, the, once again, even if the game comes to the Xbox platform, y'all are not going to support it. Y'all weren't going to support it before. Y'all are going to support it even less now. You know why? Because Game Pass indoctrination is very real. Game Pass has trained people to not buy things, to not buy games. So when you get a fan base very used to that, you think if Final Fantasy comes to the platform and it's not in Game Pass, you think people are going to be running to it? Absolutely not. They're not. They're not going to be running to it. They're, yes, there are a select few, but as a whole, no, they are not. they're not doing that. They're, you know what they're going to do? They're going to say, I'm going to wait till it's possibly in Game Pass. And if it never goes to Game Pass, then some people are never going to play it. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Listen, I, I, you follow the Xbox account, right? Every time a game is announced and the Xbox Twitter account comments under, comments under that, that game's page, what's the first thing you see? People asking, can you bring it to Game Pass? Will it go to Game Pass? You know why? Because buying the game is not their first thought. That is not their goal. It's getting it, quote unquote, free in a subscription service. When you train the minds of your consumers to be that way, you cannot like undo that, that mind training. That's very hard to do. And when that business model does not align with everybody in the industry, all the publishers and the way they want to, you know, um, distribute their games, then your fan base and the games on your platform are going to, or the lack of games on your platform, I should say, will suffer. That's going to be the result. That's what it is. But yeah, um, I don't want to get too much deeper into that. It is what it is. I can't believe y'all are you know, Xbox fans are mad at themselves for not buying games and not supporting games. This is the result, the long-term uh, repercussions of it. That's that's what it is. And listen, once again, I think it's going to come to Xbox eventually. I mean, even Persona came to Xbox eventually. But, um, you know, this stuff is going to kind of keep happening probably here and there. And listen, Phil Spencer um, has, he seems to be, I think he's made it clear he's against timed exclusivity, even though he, they still do it here and there, but it's not for like major games. It's like, it'd be like for games nobody really cares about now. It doesn't seem, to, timed exclusivity definitely seems to work a lot more in PlayStation's favor than it does Xbox. When Xbox does it, it doesn't seem to be anything that really moves the needle. Like PlayStation has a f some misses when, when it comes to times at exclusivity, but Xbox seems to have a lot more misses when it comes to time exclusivity. And PlayStation is a lot more aggressive 
clearly, like their timed exclusivity is absolutely ridiculous. Even I think it's ridiculous. Like timed, they like they be having these games in supermax prisons for like years, when we assume it's just gonna be like maybe six months to a year. It be years. Like they be getting some life sentences. Like. But like Street Fighter still never came to Xbox, did it? Like that's crazy to me. That's great. This new one is obviously, but the fact like Destiny DLC was 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 in a supermax prison on PlayStation for years, like up until the next Destiny came out. Absurd. So PlayStation is more aggressive with it, so it works out for them. It is what it is. Let me know what y'all think about about all this. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.